Ready or not, we're pulling! What's up, I'm Jim Frohn, this is the Ready Check Pull Guide for Lords of Dread. Big shout out to our Patreon supporters who help make these videos possible. This fight is one of the two bosses you can go to after Anduin, and is going to be forever known as the Among Us boss. At some point, everyone turns against each other and you gotta find the two bad imposters. This is a really crazy mechanic and requires some serious communication skills from the raid. You can bloodlust on pull or when Malganus gets to full energy for extra damage and healing. Alright, you start off by pulling both bosses towards the edge of the room with the range loosely spread behind the bosses. Both bosses cast frontals, so each tank needs to pick one up, keeping them stacked but faced away from any other players. The tanks will switch bosses anytime Malganus casts his frontal legion claws, because if you get hit by this twice in a row, Malganus gets healed for 10% of his HP, which is really bad. Contessa's frontal just applies a heavy magic dot, nothing fancy. Now, the range want to be spread out a bit because a green circle debuff occasionally goes out on a couple players at a time. This debuff does dot damage that ramps up quickly over time, but you can reset the ramp by moving close to another player and passing the debuff to them. You can also remove this debuff entirely by getting hit by one of the purple circles that occasionally goes out on a couple players. This circle fears other players within it when it expires, but when it hits someone with a green debuff, it doesn't fear them and instead gets rid of the debuff. However, when a green debuff gets removed, it spawns these little green projectiles that reapply the debuff to anyone they hit. So it's super important that everyone dodges them or else you end up with an unhealable amount of those green circles everywhere. Long story short, if you get a green debuff, look to remove it with someone else's purple circle or pass it to someone else if the damage gets too high. The range also want to be spread out behind the boss because you can bait the spawns of these purple pools on the ground. These pools put you to sleep if they touch you, so it's important that you spawn them away from the bosses as often as possible. When one of these inevitably spawn near the bosses, the tanks need to carefully relocate the bosses along the edge of the room between frontal casts. Outside of that, there's a caster ad that occasionally spawns near a ranged player. You need to avoid interrupting its cast until it gets to full health. These casts basically leech health from the raid and the ad can't be killed until after it reaches full health. Once it's full, focus kill it and interrupt it to prevent further raid damage. Ideally, you have a death knight that can grip the ad onto the bosses once it's full, which makes cleaving it down super easy. And finally, each boss has an ultimate ability that they cast when each one gets the full energy alternating every minute or so and starting with Malganus. When he reaches full energy, both bosses stop putting out mechanics and start a 20 second channel that absolutely nukes the raid with pulsing damage. Everyone, except players with the green debuff, should stack near the bosses to help with healing. And at the same time, everyone needs to blast the bosses with AoE abilities, because they both take double damage from AoE abilities during this channel. This is for sure the best time for healer cooldowns. When Contessa reaches full energy, the Among Us phase starts. The bosses disappear and everyone becomes hostile to each other. Five random players are able to see this sort of dreadlord silhouette above two other players. These five players need to communicate to the raid which two players they see with the silhouettes. And then the raid needs to kill the two players that get called out three times. Two of the players will see fake silhouettes, which is why you need a player to be called out three times to be 100% sure. You only have 30 seconds to kill the correct players to get out of the phase or else you wipe. We recommend turning your nameplates off for a second at the start of the phase to see if you can see the silhouettes or not. If you do see them, move toward the other silhouette players and if you don't see them, move away. This makes seeing everything much easier. And that's pretty much it. Here's a quick recap of the fight for you to review or screenshot for later. Our Patreon supporters get these guides early so if you're interested in that, check out the links below. Peace.